Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. Uh, he's a level 3 whiskey sommelier. He's a master moot. This may or may not be whiskey. We'll find out. No, we won't actually. We'll, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're drinking another gift this time. It's Monday and we're drinking a very odd whiskey from Bob Chapman. Or Robert Chapman. Bob Chapman. Robert Chapman? Bob, I'll say Bob. Bobby Robert Chapman. Bob. You magnificent bastard. <laughs> you went full Bono <laughs> on that one. Sucking on, sucking on the end of the mouth. Okay, okay, so. Sorghum. sorghum whiskey. I've never heard of sorghum. Okay, so that's because whiskey. there are some arguments about whether or not it's actually a whiskey. It says whiskey. Yeah, so um, there's a great write up by Savannah Weinstock uh, where she explains the whole history of sorghum and it's really well written and readable, not at all boring. Right. Um, I'm giving me the, mic the microphone. That's fine. Because people want to hear me more. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, so. There's two parts of the sorghum, and sorghum is a, uh, what do you call it, gluten-free. I poured it. Did you spit in my glass? So uh, again, sorghum is a gluten Spit in my glass! <laughs> <laughs> it's a gluten-free grain, naturally gluten-free. And uh, But there's two parts to the grain that you can use. There's the actual grain, and there's the liquid that comes off of stripping the grain. And so... Um, that is thick, syrupy sweetness. They're saying they're using sorghum, but... Which would be a grain, but they're actually using the liquid that comes from the sorghum. Oak in that sweetness. Yeah, and so Serving if you oak. think about it, that's actually closer to sugarcane processing, which makes this closer to rum in style of production than a whiskey. Now, technically it comes from a grain, so it can legally be called whiskey. Is whiskey more popular than rum? I don't know, man. Do y'all know? It's not like we're professionals or anything. <clears throat> Man, it smells like it could be a rum. The, I'm getting... Now, rum I'm is not, specifically defined as a sugarcane product. Right. I'm just, so it's not rum. I'm drinking this as a whiskey and giving notes as a whiskey uh, because I know what whiskey tastes like. And but I, it smells really syrupy. I have relatively little rum experience. No, sweet, syry, uh, syrupy. And this you, is and a get, pumpkin spice latte. And you get a lot of oakiness in that sweetened syrup. Yeah, this is a pumpkin spice latte. But there's no pumpkin. With whole milk. No pumpkin. Oh yeah, dude, that's sweet candy pumpkin pumpkin pie. That's pumpkin pie all day long. Cinnamon, super pumpkin sweet. Now I get whipped cream. Sweet and cinnamon, but you're so wrong. No man. All right, let's do this. It's actually not that light in color. It's a little cloudy, which is means they're probably not chill filtering. You know, I don't hate it. It's it's um, one and a half notes. You know, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? It's, it's very simple. Yesterday at lunch. What was that? Go ahead, do your thing. Oh, uh, the Pianiole Hawaiian one? No. Oh. Yesterday at lunch, uh, I got, I ordered an Amaretto La or something rather. Just an, an Amaretto liqueur, just because I've never had one and I've always wondered, I love Amaretto things. I've always wondered what it tastes like. And uh, it was, this is like uh, Amaretto that's about one fifth as sweet. It reminds me of West Cork. Let's see if I remember it correctly. This really? is an I it's an Irish. And I noticed that, you went and got that yourself. Well, I did. What's happening here? Well, exactly. It's, it's a big fat deal with it. I don't understand what's happening here, Rex. Because I'm a big bucket of. F My spirit animal is gonna show up one of these days, and it's gonna own you. You know what? The the spirit animal squirrel. <laughs> it's not a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So which is this? Yeah, it's the a Wolverine. Is this the West Cork? <laughs> I remember this, this is the West Cork. Super sweet, and I'm trying to remember if it was that really um, oily, rounded out sweetness. If you added almond flavoring to this, yeah. Oh, you know what this the, tastes like? The West Cork is more bright. You know what Christmas you get those almond cookies, like dessert in the in the dessert tins. Are you talking about the West Cork or the sorghum? No, 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 this one. The, the sorghum. sorghum. Okay. In uh, Christmas, you always get those dessert tins that have like 14 kinds of cookies. Yeah. And one of them is an almond cookie. Like an actual almond no, I'll cookie. I'll tell you exactly what this is. That's what it tastes like. It is the the TX whiskey. The Texas. Oh, Texas. Really? Yeah. The blended whiskey? Absolutely. Dude, we're going to drink a lot of whiskey just to figure out whether you keep guessing wrong or no, right. No, we got this. Here, take the rest of this West Cork in your... Get it out of the way. Oh, I missed. 
while you do that, a uh, new project for the channel. Um, we've done top 10 beginner whiskeys, and the next one we want to do that we want to get your recommendations. Believe it or not, it is the best whiskey for the price. And we've told you this many, many times, even though it's constantly requested, give us a list of the best whiskeys under $20, $50, whatever. We never do it because prices are incredibly regional. What we get in Austin is going to be very, very different than what somebody can get, oh. even in the next state. Oh. These are the same kind of sweet level. Yeah. These are identically as sweet. Yes. And only this one has coffee, cream coffee in it. Is it right here? Yep. Okay. So, the best whiskeys for the price, and our, uh, our reasoning is because we're crowdsourcing it from you guys, we're going to get a good average of what is truly a good deal everywhere. Yeah, and, and it won't be perfectly accurate for everybody in the damn world. Right. But it will be a good average. And it's the only way we can meet that request that is always there and still feel good about it because um, if we get enough people recommending the same things then we know okay this has got to be a pretty damn good bang for your buck whiskey so these are both whiskey lattes <laughs> only this one has uh pumpkin and almond flavoring and this one has coffee flavor dude i nailed that shit. are you kidding me? they're lattes are you kidding they're me? equal sweetness they they will so it's like they took the same Base latte, and right. then like, what well, do you want? The almond flavor, or yeah, do you want the hmm. of the two? Which do you prefer? I know you're not a sweet whiskey kind of I guy. Don't, I don't really like either of them. Uh, I think if I had to pick one, I'd pick almond because I prefer almond. Although I really love iced coffee, and this Texas blended tastes like a whiskey version of iced coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this on ice and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Jacob sweats. I can see it now. That's a dessert. After an evening of mooching, like water. after an evening of mooching too many whiskeys, Rex awakens in the vault with a mild hangover. To discover that the apocalypse has come, and that it is up to him to defend the vault and the many whiskeys within from the hordes of zombies with <laughs> not but a cork-filled tube, tube sock. sock. That's right. <laughs> what happens like The Walking Dead, where you wake up and you're in the vault instead of in a hospital? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a pretty good show. I would really watch that. Basically, the whole show would just be Rex sitting in the vault drinking all the whiskey. That's it. <laughs> Episode two, which whiskey does Rex drink today? <laughs> and so, I don't, so I don't die. Well, you've got 700 whiskeys, so you can make it for at least two years. Uh, so I don't <laughs> die from de dehydration. i got to like break out one of these windows and empty a bottle, of course. Yeah, and then let it collect rainfall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Terry Bradford. Thanks for the tour, and oh uh, yeah, the tour mm. video. If you haven't seen it, we gave a little tour of yeah, the last Thursday. Yeah, last Thursday-ish. Congrats on 200 episodes. Can't wait for the 2000th episode. Holy Yeah. That's good. How many liver transplants will we have yeah. between, between now and then? Yeah, that's like five years from now. Uh, here is a story that you might enjoy. The other day I was making some drinks for my daughter, eight years old. Oh, so yeah, this we is a, can freeze this it. This is a good story. So we can freeze it into popsicles. One was watermelon, the other was pina colada flavored. After mixing the drinks, I gave my daughter some of each. Uh, then she wanted them to be mixed. Oh, yes. Okay, it didn't sound good to me, but whatever she wants. So, so she takes a couple of small drinks and says, This is good. I get pineapple in the front part and it finishes with watermelon and coconut. <laughs> After being speechless for a few seconds, <laughs> I asked her what she meant, and it sounded like one of your whiskey reviews. Your eight is a genius. Your eight-year-old child is a dang genius. After tasting it, it wasn't bad, and I can tell what she was talking about. For the next few hours, I was smiling like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> <laughs> and it still makes me smile when thinking about it. In 13 years, I think oh, I might wow. send my daughter to the campus for a class. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. She should be teaching it. She already knows more than <laughs> she you. She already knows more than us. She is immediately, right now, a level three sommelier. <laughs> uh, Duncan, I just, you try. Gazowitz. Yes. <laughs> That's my guess. I have a friend who just sold his house and needed a place to stay for a week till he closed on a new one. Oh, this is an ethical question. Oh. He's a good friend and I could not accept any form of payment, obviously. He insisted. Obviously. And I told him, a nice single malt would suffice if he must. I came home to a bottle of Ledeg 18, batch 2. Oh, does, yes. Does this count as a mooched bottle? Is, if so, is it the fanciest whiskey I've ever... It is the fanciest whiskey I've ever mooched. Uh, uh, does that count? Yeah, you're a mooch, bro. You let him stay. He let him stay at his house, though. That's no, that's fine. That's fine. But the fact that you didn't intentionally try and mooch it 
speaks to your inherent whiskey genius. Ah. Subconsciously, so, you are such a masterful mooch. You're a subconscious mooch. You don't even mooch. try. Just it's like magnetism. Like things just happen for you. Right. You set the wheels in motion. It's like, oh, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. Oh no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get behind that. <laughs> I can get behind that. Yeah. It's so. Uh, hopefully, you can sleep at night, but you are a mooch. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm always. We're good. drinking whiskey lattes here. Uh, thanks, Bob, for sending us uh, whiskey coffee drink. Did I say he's a magnificent bastard? You did, but you whispered it into the microphone. Oh yeah, that was good. All right, <laughs> here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.